Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're going to do another tutorial on RPG Maker. Today we're going to be making a simple monster arena. And before you start your event, go to your database and go to your enemies and w design your enemies. And once you've designed your enemies, you're going to go to troops and then you're going to um, add them as troops. If you don't have space, you can change maximum, increase the number so that you have space to add new troops. To add new troops, you select a clear uh, space, and then you select what troops you want to add. And for this uh, tutorial, we're going to use the built-in one, so you can make this without having to design custom enemies. So the enemies are, will be right at the top, and we'll just start adding those troops instead of the custom ones that I built. That I built. So we're going to say, okay, for the first one, we're going to have three slimes. We're going to auto name that, or name it whatever you want. And then the, the next uh, one, we're going to add maybe a harder battle. Maybe we want to add eight slimes. So we could add eight slimes and put those however we want and auto name those or name them whatever you want. And the next one, we're going to go, uh, say, three bats. And then we can say eight bats for a bigger challenge. Move them around uh, whatever order you want them to look. I have like a side view battle so I'm moving everything to the left. Auto name that. Go to the next space. You're going to do this for however many monsters you want in your arena. We'll say three bees for the first one and then eight bees or hornets. We'll do that again. Auto name. Go down to the next one. So maybe we'll do one spider <coughs> and then maybe three spiders. And then we'll say three rats. I don't know why they're auto named uh, rates. I guess <laughs> translation error, I suppose. And that'll do for now. And you can keep adding more and more until you get uh, as many as you like. Now we're gonna go to our map where we want to put the arena, the event. I've designed a little arena here, and we'll go to the event layer. We're gonna right click, insert new event. So the first thing we're gonna do is right click and insert and say show text and we can uh, say care for a fight and then we're going to input a show choice so we right click insert show choice yes or no will work and in here we're going to start a loop so we're going to click uh, on flow control hit loop now we're going to insert another choice now we're going to say three slimes, eight slimes, what was the second one bats, three bats, eight bats, and then we're going to set <coughs> when cancel, we're going to say branch, hit OK, and now insert in, uh, in the first tab where we've put three slimes, we're going to insert, and we're going to go to the third tab, battle processing. Now we're going to select the ones we just created, slime 3, hit OK. Underneath that we have to include a break loop, otherwise we'll just end up in a, an endless loop. So we hit break loop, that's under the first tab, flow control. To make this simple and easy, you'll have to do this many times, instead of going back and forth from tab to tab, you could right click, copy that, and just paste that in every condition or every option. So we'll paste that there. And then also when cancel, you want to set, uh, put that break loop option there. So if they hit escape, uh, they can, uh, they're not in an endless loop. The next one, we're going to insert right on top of break loop, because when you try to insert something right on top of it, <coughs> excuse me, it places it right above it. So we'll insert battle processing right there. Go down to three bats, insert battle processing. Go scroll down to where we put our troops, eight bats. That was three bats, so we're just going to cut that and paste that here. Battle processing. Go three bats. And we've got hornets and spiders next, okay? So underneath all of this, right above where it says um, repeat above, we want to insert the next uh, show choice right above that. So insert. 
go choices. Um, actually, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. We can insert, insert that. But instead of having four options, if you're only going to have four options, then you can do it this way. But if you want to have multiple options, what we're going to do is rename this show choices to have the last option say more or show more options. Those, it'll still be on branch. Now we're going to actually cut the two events, the battle processing and the break loop, and paste that on the first option. So <clears throat> on the second choice, we're going to say the last one was eight bats. Then we had three spiders and eight, or no, it was one spider, I think. And then it was uh, three spiders. Insert, battle processing. Or it was hornets first. Um, but that's okay, we'll just go. We'll insert the spiders here. <clears throat> and obviously you can uh, rearrange this in any order you like. And at the end of this, we're going to say show more options. We're going to set this to branch, hit OK. We also have to include our break loop, copy, paste, copy, paste. When we have the show more options, we're not going to include the break loop there. Otherwise, it'll be the end of it. So instead, we put the break loop on win cancel. Basically, rinse and repeat this. We're going to insert one more tab, show choices. This is where we have uh, three hornets, eight hornets. Set it to branch. Battle processing. Did I already put hornets? No. Okay, so we'll go here. Insert battle processing. You can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing right here. Insert battle processing. This is going to be <clears throat> three rats. And you can continue to make choices as many as you like. As long as you include the, the break loop after the battle, and on win cancel. If you have uh, an incomplete list like 3, 8, and then we only have those two, we don't have a third one, you can set your cancel on the third choice. And when you say not right now, you also want to include the break loop uh, function. And that should do it. Let me make sure I've got all of my battles set up. It looks good. We'll do a bug testing. We're going to give this guy an option or um, a graphic. So we'll pick uh, this guy right here. He looks like a dwarven guard going to be guarding the gates and we can name our event if we want arena um, that's looks about right let's go ahead and bug test it so we'll sit, right click and set our uh, starting position save the game hit play new game and uh, here for a fight if we say no we should break if we say yes we should have options. Let's hit escape to see if it works. Oh, it works fine. <clears throat> Here for a fight? Yes. Let's go down to show more options. There we go. Show more options. Not right now. But what we can also do is, if we want the, the list to loop, we can also say show more options. And then not right now on the fourth one. And then we have to change cancel to four. So what we'll do for show more options is leave that blank. So we're going to cut this uh, break loop and put it on the not right now one. So when they select show more options, it's going to repeat all the way back to the top of this list. Now let's uh, illustrate that. <coughs> Excuse me. OK. 
prepare for a fight? Yeah. Show more options. Show more options. Uh, I think I wanted to do the first one, so let's go show more options. Now it's going back to the beginning. Three slimes, eight slimes. And that's basically how you would make a simple arena. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate every viewer I get. Um, if you guys want more tutorials like this, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a lot. Um, you'll also stay up to date on new stuff that comes out. And if uh, you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like, fave, share, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. Um, hopefully this uh, helps you guys set up a basic arena. Thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.